What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? What is up, everybody? How is y'all doing today? How is y'all doing today? How is y'all doing today? Hey, listen. Listen, y'all. Listen. I got to talk to y'all. I got to talk to y'all for real, man. I got to talk to y'all. I'm trying to see where we could go. I got to talk to y'all for real, man. I got to talk to... What? Hey, bro. I need some good light. Now I'm trying to... What's go? What's, go? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? I got to talk to y'all. I got to talk to y'all. Listen, man. Something's in the air. Something's in the air. I got to talk to y'all. I got to talk to y'all. Listen, man. Listen, man. Let me tell you something, man. I've gotten some extreme downloads and some extreme messages these past couple of days. And I really got to tell y'all. If the last couple of months of your life was just a little bit hectic, I got a feeling that things are about to start getting better for you. I don't know what it is, but let me tell you, you are going to start experiencing, and I want y'all to know that I, I didn't mean to do that one. I need y'all to know that things are about to start happening in a step-by-step -step motion. Thank you, y'all. Thank you, y'all, for the compliments about my hair. We dyed it back black because we in a new era now. We in a new era now. And this is what I want to say. I want to say you're about to start experiencing small wins, small wins, small wins. But they're going to start. What you doing? They're going to start turning into big wins. Like, y'all got to understand, if you went through trouble within these past couple of weeks, these past couple of days, these past couple of months, you have to understand that all of that was just the setup. All of that was just a setup for what is about to happen. The reason why I'm telling you this is because you have to realize that life is like chess. And don't think the universe is not playing chess. You're sitting here thinking that whatever situation happened in the past, dang, bro, like, why that happened to me? Why these people did me dirty? Why these people? But again, we got to go back to the lesson at heart. Hold on, y'all. We got to go back to the lesson at heart. And this is the same lesson that I told Joey about. And y'all make sure y'all go ahead and run up the live, run up the likes, because what I'm about to talk about is some real stuff. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find the eraser. Hold on, y'all. Where's the eraser? Oh, here it is. Yeah, man. So let me tell y'all something. I got three color markers today. Whoa, almost fell. Woo, almost bust my behind. All right, so look. Let me tell you something, okay? We got to start fresh. Fresh energy. We got to start fresh. We got to start fresh because what I'm about to talk to you about, y'all about to understand why you had to go through. Yeah, I'm good. You're about to understand why you had to go through what you went through to have what you've always wanted. Ooh! I be scared to hit it now. Right? Let me say that again. I'm about to tell you why you had to go through what you went through to finally have what you always wanted. Come on! Come on! Right? And this is why. This is why I want you to understand, okay, this word right here, this word right here. And I'm going to write it in red because when people pass by, I want them to stop. So y'all make sure, continue to run up the lights. Every time you hear me say something that resonates or something that you heard, run up the lights. Because every time you run up the lights, somebody new sees this live and ends up joining all because we received more lights, okay? So the word that you have to understand is energy, okay? I always tell you about this word and this, this thing that we call energy because you'll be surprised at how much this thing actually runs your world. This word right here, energy, is the controller of your faith. 
This word right here is the controller of your life. And if you can learn how to use this thing right here, you can have everything you possibly want because everything is a work of energy. Energy is what creates everything, matter. Matter is 99.99% empty space. And what fills up that empty space? Energy. Matter is everything. And what fills up that space of energy? I mean, what fills up that space of matter? Energy, okay? So, I want you to understand, energy is a very powerful thing. You think people don't know about your energy. You think people won't try and steal your energy. Just because it can't be seen don't mean it can't be felt. Come on. Just because it can't be seen does not mean that it can't be felt. You have to understand, it really seems like some of the most powerful things in our life are the things that we cannot see. Air, the universe, or you can call it God, right? So I want you to understand that you need to start becoming more aware of what has my energy. What has my energy? You have to ask yourself this question because little did you know, you keep stressing about things in the past. When you do that, you tie your energy to the past. Wherever you pay attention to, that is where that energy will flow. So you have to be more mindful of what you pay attention to because what you pay attention to, you give energy to. You have to understand energy is a currency. What you pay attention to you give up your currency right what if i told you that the situation that you went through in the past had to end because it is finally time for you to shift into the era where you finally have what you're asking for the reason why i say this is because you have to understand in order for something new to come into your life, something must be sacrificed. This is called the law of equivalent. I, I probably spelled it wrong, but I probably did it. Exchange. Law of equivalent exchange. You have to be willing to give up some form of energy to get a new form of energy back. You have to trade off. Do you want to know why? Because energy cannot be created or destroyed. So that means that the universe has to use something that is already created, right? The universe has to use something that has already been here to give you whatever it is that you're asking for, right? So that means, okay, you said you want a new apartment. Well, okay, then that means we have to get rid of the old one or let's say for this you say that you want to become you want to become a new person that means that the old person must die in order for the new person to come about that means your old feelings have to die in order for your new your new feelings to come about your old thoughts have to die in order for your new thoughts to come about because you cannot serve two masters you cannot say i want to be successful i want to Think abundant, but you're still entertaining negative thoughts. This is why sometimes the universe has to take things out of your life in order to give you what you always ask for. Because the truth be told is that some of the things that you think are in your life that you thought you needed was actually something that you never needed to begin with. It was just something that you wanted. It was just something that you wanted. So a lot of times, y'all don't be willing to let go of people that you want to get the people that you need. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because some of y'all, and listen, I got it, I got it, ooh, I know. See, listen, let me tell you something. The universe will give me a message and I don't know who it's for until I keep, I keep going into it, keep, until I keep listening, until I keep speaking. And I'm realizing that I know exactly who this message is for. This message, and I want y'all to say, this is for me if you know this is for you. Let me say it first. This message is for the person who is not able to let go of the past. Listen, whoever you once was, yeah, I know you probably had success in your last year. I know things were probably working out for you in your last year. But let me tell you something. Like my aunt told me this, right? My aunt, my aunt is, is, is Christian, right? I'm not Christian, but y'all got to understand just because some, some people be Christian, but still be having that gift. I won't lie now. My aunt told me, I know you're successful right now, um, niece. 
I know you, and listen, because I'm talking to you too. Y'all think that this message was just for me, but I'm sharing this message because it's for you too. My niece said, I mean, my auntie said, I know you think you're successful right now, niece. I know you think that you're financially set right now, niece. I know you feel like, you know, you got a little bit of fame right now, niece. But God has not even shown you what you're about to experience. You don't even know how deeper it really gets. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because some of y'all are holding on to things that no longer serve you. And because you're holding on to things that no longer serve you, you are closing the door on the new things that are everything you've ever wanted. Some of y'all think that, man, but this person really loves me. Like, I don't know if I can find better. Well, you don't know if you can find better. But you want to know what the truth is? You got to have a level of faith. You got to have a level of faith because what if I told you what's on the other side of this faith is everything you ever wanted? Do you know that this is the first step to achieving all your wildest dreams? Faith. Faith. You want to know why? Let me tell you why. Because the most powerful things are the things that you cannot see. are the things that you cannot see and you know what you cannot see your next step you can't see your next step but you gotta have the faith to know that the next step is gonna be the best step Ooh! come on and i'm telling you this because this is for somebody right here that person that you've been thinking about cutting off that person that you've been thinking dang they're not for me that job that you've been thinking about quitting, that project that you've been thinking about ending, that house that you've been thinking about leaving, that city that you've been thinking about moving from, it might be your next step. Somebody said it might also be the worst step. Let me tell you something. There is no such thing as mistakes. And let me remove your fear about making the wrong choice. You can never make the wrong choice. Let me tell you why I say this. The wrong choice is what educates you to make the best choice. The wrong choice is what educates you to make the best choice. You gotta understand a mistake, a mistake, hold on now. You gotta understand a mistake happens for a reason. You have to understand that in a situation that you thought, oh, why is this happening to me? When you Go on with life, you realize, dang, I'm so glad that happened. Let me tell you something. I've made a wrong choice in the past couple of months by who I decided to hang around or who I decided to be with. But let me tell you something. That was the best choice I ever made. You want to know why? Because I will never be fooled like that again. You have to understand you don't learn. Oh, I got it. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me tell you why there's no, no such thing as... The wrong choice. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Number one, you cannot be of no help to nobody if you don't have a testimony. The only reason I can help you is because I've made a wrong decision and I can tell you that that wrong decision was never really a wrong decision. The only reason why I can help you is because I've gone through things. I've gone through things that most people don't want to go through. But you got to realize that my purpose, like, oh, I got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on before I get to here. I would not have the ability to teach you so well if I hadn't making mistakes. Let me tell you what I mean by that. How would I be able to help somebody who's going through depression if I've never been through it? How can I help somebody through going through negative thoughts and intrusive thoughts if I've never been through it? How can I help you? Somebody said, hit the ball. Hold on, I got to finish. How can I help you and tell you that, oh, you're hanging out with the wrong people because you're changing if I never knew what that felt like? You see, I have to be able to see that in you by having that, having once had that in me. So here you are thinking, dang, why is this happening to me? You got to say, I'm glad this is happening to me because guess what? When you have kids, you can teach them. You don't want a perfect life. A perfect life teaches you nothing. A perfect life teaches you nothing. 
And you have to understand that. And if y'all not following me here on TikTok, please make sure y'all follow me. You have to understand everything is happening for your greatest good. You said you wanted to be a superstar. You got to learn what deceit feels like. You said you wanted to be a famous multimillionaire. You got to know what envy feels like. You got to know what it feels like to trust the wrong people. And you need to learn that now before you get to that point. So stop getting upset thinking that, oh, why am I going through this? My love, pain equals gain. I couldn't grow muscles if I didn't feel the pain of my muscles tearing. Pain equals strength. I wouldn't know what it feels like to get through adversity if I didn't face adversity. How can I motivate you if I've never been through the dirt myself? How can I teach you how to get it out the mud if I've never been through the mud myself? I need you to know this, so stop getting upset with yourself for making mistakes. How can you be a master without mistakes? You cannot be a master without mistakes. So I'm telling you this for a reason. Embrace the mistakes. Because let me tell you something. You don't learn nothing at these high points. You learn nothing at these high points. You know when you learn something? You learn something when your butt is on the ground. You know why? Because when you're at these high points, you don't change nothing. Y'all continue to run up the likes on this live. When you are at these high points, you don't change nothing. You really don't even listen to people. You really don't even listen to people. Once you get you some money, you don't listen to nobody. Once you done got you some followers, you ain't listening to nobody. You know when you listen to somebody, when your butt hit that ground. And you have to understand, you have to get all the way high up here. And then the universe will get you grounded. Do you know that you talk to God the most when you're going through your struggles? Do you know that you talk to God the most? This is where you receive your wisdom, my love. You do not receive your wisdom from wins. Mm -mm. You do not receive your wisdom from wins. You receive your wisdom from these losses. Not even losses because they're really just another learning experience. You learn from these experience. You know, you want to know why? Because guess what? Let me tell you. Let me give you an example, right? You're going down a road in your new car. You're going down a road in a new car. And you hit, you go on this new road, right? Let me tell you something. Listen, listen, listen. Everybody comment, I'm listening. Listen to what I'm telling you. Because this is real life. Comment, I'm listening if you're listening. Let me tell you something. You're going down a new road, right? You got this new car. You got this new road that you're going down. This road that you've never been through. But this road has a pothole. You done drove through this pothole and now it done messed up your tire. Guess what happens when you drive down this road again? Your experience. You go around the pothole. But how would you have known that if you didn't hit that pothole? Oh, here's another one. You was listening to people that you shouldn't have listened to. You realized that envious people were getting close to you. You didn't know that people could be envious and you didn't know that people could steal until somebody stole from you. So then guess what? You started to learn, oh, you know what? Let me put this away. You know what? Let me hide this. You know what? Let me not tell this person this. You didn't realize that you couldn't trust people. Well, let me say this. You didn't realize that you couldn't trust everybody until you trusted everybody and you got hurt. Because let me tell you something. The universe will consistently break your heart to save your soul. The universe will consistently break your heart to save your soul. You know what it's like when somebody starts acting funny. I know what that looks like. That, that, that's familiar. You know why it's familiar? Because you've been through it. So stop being upset of the things that you've been through. Because now, now it's up to you to say, I will never allow that to happen again. How many times have you told myself, I'm never letting this happen again. This will never happen again. I refuse that. Now guess what? You've just obtained knowledge and wisdom because you said, I learned from this lesson. Do you realize that every time you learn a lesson, you receive a blessing? Ooh! You want to know why every time you learn a lesson, you receive a blessing? Because you ended a karmic cycle. And every time you end a karmic cycle, your ancestors issue out you a blessing. You want to know why? Because you just leveled up to a new level of enlightenment. And you know what else you did? You literally, listen, somebody said, who taught you this? Girl, I don't know. 
I don't know, because I'm only 22. I'm about to be 23 this month. I think it's just I've tapped into my Akashic Records. You got to understand energy is information. I'm glad you asked that because now we're going on to the next lesson. Let me tell you something. I'm glad you asked that because, because let me tell you something. Energy has information, okay? So you think that when somebody passes away that all of their wisdom is in vain. That's not true. That's not true. Why do you think when you meditate, you receive downloads? Because when you meditate, you reach a different level of energy, a different vibration. And every vibration carries information. You want to know why? No, I'm telling. Listen, I'm telling you why I know. Don't say I just know. I'm telling you why I know. I'm telling you why I know. I learned. I learned. You want to know why I learned? Because I learned about the pineal gland. The pineal gland. And listen to what I'm saying because this is real talk. Because some of y'all may not know how you know what you know, but I'm about to tell you how you knew what you always know. Mm. Listen to what I'm saying. So you have to understand your third eye is like, is like, let's say a, a translator. Okay, listen, your third eye is like a translator. Your third eye is like an antenna. So your third eye is an antenna and it is able to receive frequencies. Your third eye turns these frequencies into information that you're able to now digest and understand. Okay, this is your third eye, right? This is your third eye inside of your pineal gland, right? You have to also understand that infinite wisdom is also in your third eye when you're able to unlock it, right? The sun is able to give you, listen, the sun is able to give you information. Have anybody ever heard that, that the energy from the sun gives you information? Has anybody ever heard that? This is why people sun gaze. This is why people feel good when they sit in the sun. Because, because the sun emits information in the form of a frequency. Your third eye is able to receive that information and turn it into downloads. Now, you have to understand the Akashic records. The Akashic, y'all got to ask yourself, really ask yourselves, where is downloads coming from? Where am I? How do I just know? Ask yourself. And it's crazy because I'm looking and I can literally see rays coming down. How do I just know what's going on? How do I just know? You got to understand the reason why you know is because the Akashic Records is literally an energetic place. It's not a, it's not a physical place. It's an energetic place. And you have to understand that when people pass away, energy is not created nor destroyed. That's all I can say. It's, it, it, it's very hard to explain, right? But anyways, the reason why we're talking about energy is because, like I said, some of y'all, it's time for y'all to let go of the things that no longer serve you. It's time for you to let go of the things that no longer serve you because the moment that you close that door, opportunity is waiting for you to open the next one. When you finally say, listen to what I'm telling y'all, man. Like, how many, let, let me tell y'all something. How many of y'all have experienced that the moment that you let go of one thing, it's like an opportunity happened the next day? The reason why I'm telling you this is because, let me give you an example, all right? You have an opportunity to go travel the world, right? But you haven't received the opportunity yet. The universe won't give you that opportunity because you're dating somebody who's only going to talk you out of it the moment that you get it. So the universe waits for you to get rid of that person and then offers you the opportunity. You want to know why? Because you have nobody holding you back. When you have people in your life that's not really going to be at that next level for you, the universe cannot give you those blessings because those blessings will only be messed up by the people who no longer need to be around you y'all run up the likes man run up the likes let's get this to a hundred thousand likes because this information right here is going to change somebody's life somebody is finally going to make the decision and say you know what let me let them go some of y'all are holding on to things by a thread knowing that it's already over knowing that it's already over some of y'all are holding on to things that you know is already over. Hold on, let me get some water. Some of y'all notice. I got to hit the bell. Y'all know this. Y'all know it's over. Y'all know it's over. You know why you keep holding on to it? I can tell you why you're holding on to it. 
because you're afraid of the unknown. Let me tell you something. The best place to be is the unknown. You want to know why? Because in the unknown is where you have miracles. It's not a miracle if you knew it would happen. It's not a miracle if you knew a million dollars was around the corner. It's not a miracle if you knew that somebody was going to pick you up. Or it's not a miracle if you just became famous today. It's not a miracle. You have to understand that your miracle happens when you have trust in the unknown. Wait, what do I mean about that? When you have trust. You have to have trust and faith. Y'all got to understand. You're never going to have any type of real success until you learn how to trust what you cannot see. Ooh! You have to be willing to blindly believe that this is going to get better. You want to know why? Because what if I told you? What if I told you? When you blindly believe, the universe starts to create based off of your beliefs. But if you do not blindly believe, the universe cannot create nothing because you believe in nothing. Let, let, me, let me tell you what I mean by this. Every step is being created based off of your thoughts. So when you tell yourself, I am going to be successful, you don't know how. And that's okay. Let me tell y'all something. You don't need to know how you're going to be successful. You don't need to know how you're going to be successful. All right? But what I can tell you is that. Somebody said, take your time. Let me take my time. You don't need to know how you're going to be successful. You want me to tell you why? Because it's not just you creating. You're not the only one creating this reality. You are co-creating with the universe. And I don't know who needs to hear this. You're not doing this by yourself. You're not doing this by yourself. So you have to understand your only responsibility is figuring out what you want and why you want it. The universe will figure out how it will come into your life. Because let me tell you something. You don't know who you're going to run into in a year from now. That hasn't, that's not your business. You're not going to know who's going to be the person to introduce you to this person. That is the universe's position. That is the universe position. The universe can see things from the outside view. You're the one that can see things from the inside view. So you have to tell the universe, hey, so here's the plan. This is what we're going to create. I want to be a multimillionaire. I want to be successful because I want to do this. You got to remember, you can't be creating out of ego too. Don't be saying that you want to be successful because you want to flex on somebody. It don't work like that. That's creating out of ego. That's not creating out of love. You got to tell the universe what you want and then why. What do you want? I want to be successful. I want to be happy. I want to be able to have my own this and this and that. Why do you want that? I want to use that because I want to be able to inspire people. I want to be able to help people. I want to teach people this and this and that. Okay, so shall it be. Then the universe gets to working out how will it happen. But you got to understand you have to have trust in your partner. Let me tell you something. Do you want to date somebody that doesn't trust you? Do you want to be with somebody that doesn't trust you? Do you want to be in business with somebody that doesn't trust you? No. So why would the universe want to create on your behalf if you don't even trust it? You want to know why? When I don't trust people, that means that I don't want to pass them the rock. When I don't trust people, that means that I don't want to give them the steering wheel. When I don't trust people, I don't want to give them any kind of responsibility. When you don't trust, in yourself too because that's another thing when you don't trust the universe you don't trust in yourself you don't trust that your manifestation can come true and if what i'm teaching you really resonates make sure y'all go ahead and get my ebook because i really break down how to manifest link in the bio click crystal shop on how to manifest all right but let me break this down before you even go just let me break it down for real when you don't trust that it's going to unfold number one you tell the universe that you don't trust the universe and then you tell the universe that i don't trust me it means that I don't trust that, my, that I'm really real. It means that I don't trust that I can really manifest for real. Right? So you got to learn how to have faith and have trust because let me tell you something. Most of the time, you can kind of get a whiff when something negative is about to happen. Most of the time, you can kind of feel the energy that something like something... 
something don't feel right. I feel like they about to be fake. I feel like you can kind of tell when something not about to be right. Like you can kind of feel it. You get that gut instinct. But let me tell you something. A blessing is always a pleasant surprise. So that's why you have to trust in the unknown. Because the unknown is what births miracles and pleasant surprises. I want everybody to comment right now. Something miraculous is happening to me. I want everybody to say that right now. Something miraculous is happening to me. And what happens when you say that is you invoke a miracle to happen to you. Miracles are always appearing in my life. And you have to understand why are affirmations so powerful? Sound is a vibration. Sound is an energy. When you speak, you are emitting frequencies out into the universe. This is why people say speak to your plants. Speak loving energy to your plants because your voice is a vibration. That's why when you go, oh, that's why some people say when you meditate, go, oh, because it's a vibration that is now coming out of you. So when you speak a positive affirmation, you're now taking a positive vibration out of your body and you're now emitting it out into the world. And remember, whatever you say, say out to the world, it comes back to you. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube. I will be posting this live on my YouTube when we're finished. Also, make sure that y'all subscribe to me on Instagram or follow me on Instagram, as I better say. I do want to say that I do this every day. So if you are new here, I want you to know that most of the time I get on live every day speaking this positive message. The reason why is because I need people to really know the power that they have. You know, a lot of people see your power. A lot of people can tell Yo, something different about them, but do not think that everybody will tell you. Because the truth be told is, my love, you have to become aware of your own power. Because nobody is really going to tell you how powerful you are unless they sit by God. The reason why I say this is because most people will either think that you already know your power, some people will try to abuse your power, and then some people will try to use your power. So I'm telling you all of this to know that you are in control of your life more than you possibly think. Let me say this again. You are more in control in your life than you possibly think. You want to know how I know that? Somebody said, what's your gram and YouTube info? Click the link in my bio. Click Crystal Shop. Also, guys, if you guys are into crystals, make sure you guys check out the Crystal Shop. We got some beautiful, high quality and rare crystals on our site from places like Congo, Mexico, um, Zambia and Zimbabwe. Now, let me finish. And I'm going to write the website right here just in case y'all want to find it. But it is in the link in the bio. All right. So let me tell you what I mean by that. Okay. You have to become aware of your power. If I told you, like, if you've never watched The Matrix, I recommend you watch The Matrix. Because let me tell you something. The biggest lesson that that whole Matrix taught me was, let me write it down. Let me write this down. Five, five, five. Know thyself. Know your real power. Know your worth, y'all. Listen. You got to know your worth, y'all. And let me tell you something. The moment you become aware of how powerful you are, your power amplifies. Somebody said... You got your crystal from Congo? Yes, the Malachite on our website is from Congo. And I do want to let y'all know that because our because the quality of our crystals are so high, a lot of our crystals really sell out as soon, like as soon as they drop. So if you see something on your website that you on the like that if you see something on the website that you like, get it as soon as possible because I can tell you my people love that crystal shop and they support it. All right. And they know about the quality. All right. But like I was saying. You need to know yourself. You gotta, somebody said, slow down. You're right, you're right. I just, y'all yeah, gotta understand, like, and I learned this out from tripping out. I learned this, I learned this about, I learned this about myself from tripping out. I learned that I be receiving so many downloads that it's like, it, I have to try to keep up with the downloads. For example, y'all ever be in a group chat? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all ever been in a group chat and... It's like the message is going so fast, but you had a joke about the message that was like two seconds ago. It is moving so fast. So that's what be happening. My mind be having all these downloads, all these downloads so fast that I have to try and catch on to them. All right. So that's just to explain to y'all why my mouth is moving slower than my thoughts. All right. Somebody said, need me a spiritual group chat. 
Click the link in the bio and click Discord if you want to connect to us. We have a, a big spiritual group chat, over 600 people in there. Join the Discord. The link is in the bio, all right? So let's finish, okay? Everybody, I want y'all to comment something, okay? Maybe I can help y'all out. I want y'all to comment something that y'all need help with, okay? Comment something that you need help with, and I'm going to break it down, all right? Comment something, and I'm going to break it down for y'all, all right? Fear. Somebody said everything. Success, self-doubt, being alone. Okay, we're going to do being alone, all right? We're going to do being alone. We're going to do being alone, okay? Somebody said, I need help with manifesting. If you need help, it listen, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. It, let me tell y'all something. If my manifestation ebook has helped you out, please leave a comment because I want to show people if y'all need help learning how to manifest, my ebook will literally change your life. And I bet everything on that if you actually do the practices. I can't promise anything if you don't actually do the practices. If my ebook has actually helped you in your life and how to manifest, please let these people know. I'm going to let them talk. I'm going to let them talk. If my ebook has helped you manifest something or bring any type of abundance into your life, please let these people know. See, y'all commenting the old things. So let's finish though. We was talking about being alone. Being alone, okay? That's what we're gonna talk about, being alone. Dang, y'all done flushed out the comments of people telling you about the, the ebook works plus consistency, exactly. Somebody said, bro, we heard you the first three times. Bro, don't get kicked out and I'll kick you out three different times. How about that? Don't get kicked out, bro. Don't get kicked out, bro. I hate to do you like that too, man. All right, so let's talk about being alone. All right, so as you can see, people say that the ebook helped them. So, like I said, if you are, and we'll break that ebook down a little bit too. If you are looking to really know how should I manifest, what are the methods that I should use, how does it work, like what even is manifestation? I'm telling you, click the link in my bio and get that ebook. The like. I've had people tell me, yo, I manifested $1,800 with that. I've, got, um, I've gotten rid of $40,000 of debt with your ebook. The girl literally the girl literally printed out the ebook. She printed out the ebook, punched holes in it and everything. I never even thought of that, right? So like I said, I'm telling you, okay? So anyways, let's talk about being alone. Let me tell you why being alone is so important. Now, look, you have to understand being alone is a gift. Somebody, where can I find your ebook? The link is in my bio, click Crystal Shop. Being alone is a gift. Let me tell you why being alone is a gift. Being alone is a gift is because being alone. Babe. Never mind, never mind. I got a charger. Hold on, y'all. I had to get a charger. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I had to get a charger. So let me tell you why, okay? I'm about to tell you why. Don't even worry about it, y'all. Like, I got it so good for y'all right now. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Is it a free ebook? No, baby. No, baby. No. I literally took time to read all these manifestation books, study all these manifestation books, and put it all in one book. Because here's the thing, too. I hear people manifesting $10,000, $1,800 on this, this and this and that dollars, but y'all want me to get an ebook for free. Y'all making thousands off of me. Y'all making thousands off of me. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm teaching y'all how to make thousands, how to potentially change your whole life. Now you famous. And I'm like, man, I'm going to learn from my ebook. What a donation. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, yeah, I want $5,000 out of car. Exactly. All right. So look, this is why being alone is the key. Some of y'all, some of y'all are so distracted by life. Somebody said, how much is the ebook? $20. Some of y'all are so distracted by life. And the reason why I say some of y'all are distracted by life is because when you are with people, you're not hearing yourself. 
when you're out and about you're not hearing the universe speak to you you got to understand the universe doesn't yell at you the universe whispers you could miss the messages from the universe you can miss the downloads if you do not have time to reflect some of y'all don't realize some some of the mistakes you made because you're just like i gotta go 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 i gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. some of y'all are so worried about what's happening in the outside world you don't have time to sit and reflect with yourself and really hear what's going on internally not realizing that what's happening internally is what creates what happens externally right and the thing about it is that if you do not listen to god if you not do if you do not listen to the creator and the universe has to keep trying to get your attention the universe will make you sit your behind down and be alone just so you can hear it this is why you hear people say, oh, I went broke. Oh, I, 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 I lost my home. I did this. This is why, because the universe had to force you to be alone. The universe has to force you to be alone. When you're by yourself, let me tell you, let me, let me explain it to you too. When you're by yourself, when you're by yourself and you just chilling, you be having thoughts. You be like, dang. Why was I acting like that before? Reflection. You be like, why was I moving like that? Why was I with that person? Dang. And then guess what happens? When you're alone, you start to become aware of the mistakes that you made in the past because you finally have the time to reflect on it. So you have to understand you need to have time by yourself to really hear your own voice because let me tell you something. Oh, I got it. Let me tell you something. Some of y'all have been out with so many people, you no longer can even hear your voice anymore. Some of y'all have been so distracted by people, you can't even hear your voice anymore. So when you get by yourself, you can finally hear your voice again because you don't have nobody speaking into your ear. If you want to watch this video again, make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to me on YouTube because that's this will definitely be on there. This some, some good shit. This some good. This right here. And let me tell you something. Sometimes being alone is what helps you to find your best discoveries because you want to know why there is no distractions there's no distractions is no distractions five 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 so i'm telling you all it is to say you got to allow yourself to be alone so you can be able to find yourself some of y'all say how do i love myself by being alone how do I get creative? By being alone. How do I hear my voice again? By being alone. You know why some of y'all don't love yourselves? Because you're not able to be alone with yourself. Let me tell y'all something. When you're alone, you start to actually get to know who you are for real. You start to see, like, let me give you an example. When you're with friends, they're like, oh, why don't you try the chocolate cake? Why don't you try this? Why don't you watch this TV show? And you try them and you watch them. You're like, oh, this is dope. This is dope. But then when you're by yourself, you're like, you know, you know what I realized? I really like strawberry. You know, and then boom, you know, you know what else you realize? You start listening to your own opinion. You say, you know what? I actually like watching TV shows. You know what? I actually do enjoy yoga. You know what? I actually, and then you know what happens? You don't rely on having to be with somebody to be happy. That's when you know that you really love yourself, when you can spend time with yourself. If you're not able to spend time with yourself, if you're not able to spend time with yourself, you got a problem. What's the next situation? What else? What else? What else? What else? Let me show y'all something too, y'all. Let me show y'all something too. Let me show y'all something.
one, y'all. Just in case y'all ain't know. Listen, man, I got the best crystals in the game. That's all I can say. This right here is pyrite. You can see this baby shining from all the way back here. Y'all go ahead, check out my crystal shop. This is pyrite, all right? This is literally the crystal of abundance. This baby shines. That's all I can say. Put a little flash on it, too. Just so y'all can see. The link is in the bio. Click crystal shop. We only have about two or three left. These are some very raw and high quality crystals. So link is in the bio. This crystal is very good for abundance and money. But let me tell you something. It's first come, first serve. So don't. I'm telling you. That's all I got to say. You think that thing won't be sold out. That's why I got pirate on my necklace right now. You think that thing won't be sold out. Let me tell you something. This crystal that I'm wearing right here was actually on the, um, the amulet of King Tut when he was in his tomb. So I'm telling you, man. Anyway, so look, somebody said lack, lack mindset. So hard to admit when you are jealous, when you truly don't want to be, makes you feel like a bad person. The only reason why you're jealous is because you know that you are able to amount to the same thing. That's why you're jealous. Nah, what's that? Nah, what? That's crazy. I'm telling you, I'll be trying to tell y'all. Y'all be thinking that these crystals is foo foo. But I'm telling y'all, some of y'all ancestors, ancient royalty was wearing these crystals. You got to think about it, y'all. We consider the rich people wearing diamonds. Diamonds are crystals. Diamonds are crystals. Nothing has really changed. It's just a different crystal, a different stone. All right? So the link is in the bio. Click Crystal Shop. Get that pirate. Let me tell y'all something. That thing will sell out. Um, if you haven't ever shopped with me before, you will find out. Because the type of my, my people are the type to literally, you over here ordering your crystal and it's literally gone by the time you're trying to check out. I don't know. They be treating my crystals like they Jordans or something. That's all I can say. But anyways, I don't want to put my faith in crystals. My love, crystals don't need your faith. It's based off science. That's like saying I don't want to put my faith in gravity. Gravity don't need your faith, my love. It's based off of science and physics. So here you are talking about some, uh... Your, my faith. Your faith don't. Your crystals ain't worried about your faith. Your phone got them crystals in it. Your, your, your watch got them crystals in it. Your faith have nothing to do with these crystals, my love. These crystals gonna work whether you believe in them or not. It's called frequency. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Your brain contains calcite crystals. Your brain, and I have calcite. Somebody said chill, love. Don't, don't. Bye. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Right? Where to buy the ebook? The link is in the bio. Click crystal shop. But like I said, your pineal gland contains calcite crystals. Calcite crystals. All right? All right. Anyway, so what's the next thing y'all want to learn about? What is black tourmaline used for? Black tourmaline is used for protection. Do you have meditation crystals? We have manifestation crystals. It's all about setting an intent on them. So if you go on the website, just look up crisp candles, you'll see it. This is what the pyramids used to be made of. Tell them. See, that's what I be trying to tell people. People think that I'm out here trying to sell you some facade, not realizing that what has happened is, is I've connected to the truth of my ancestors. When I figured out the magic, that's why I say you got to know yourself. And let me, let me, let me really talk to y'all because I want y'all to understand Y'all are too busy believing what everybody else tell you, okay? See you later, Ryan. Y'all are too busy believing what everybody else tell you. Y'all are easy, like, and, and, and I don't mean everybody, but y'all got to understand, the same people that try to make you think negative about crystals are the same people that try to make you think negative about your own people. The, the same people that try to make you feel like crystals are demonic are the same people that will de demonize your, your own ancestors, so before you sit here and judge me or try to make me feel like, oh, like, oh, I don't know about that. Really ask yourself, have I done anything but try to make you aware of your truth? So before you say, I don't know if crystals work, how about you open your mind and actually think about the fact that your ancestors, your royal ancestors, that they still trying to figure out how they had the ability, the power, the technology. You listen to what I'm saying. These people be digging up 
the mummies be digging up the kings, the queens, and literally trying to figure out how did you have that advanced technology? And then when I'm telling you what are some of the practices that they use, you're saying that don't work. But my love, the same people that tell you that crystals don't work are the same people that's digging up our ancestors and putting them in museums and trying to figure out how did y'all do that? How did y'all build these pyramids? How did y'all how did y'all connect? How did y'all correctly align your pyramids to the Orion's belt? How did you literally get your sphinx to literally face the constellation of Leo? The sphinx is a lion. Let me tell y'all something because I think some of y'all think that I'm just talking and I'm just out here liking crystals because they cute. But the truth is, is I've become aware of where I'm from. I've become aware of who I, of where I'm from. That's where the knowledge comes from. You got to understand, you cannot expect to receive the wisdom of your ancestors, but still deny your ancestors. Oh my God. You cannot expect to want to receive the spirit and the protection from your ancestors, but you're denying the practices of your ancestors. Like, for example, some of y'all think net magic is bad. Some of y'all think magic is, is, is dark, not realizing that magic is like a weapon. A weapon can be used to save your life or to end your life. It's all about intention. So I would never ever sit here and deny my ancestors of their practices because their practices are the same thing that everybody else is trying to steal and use against the masses. Y'all got to understand, somebody said, all I want to know is God. God is within you. You cannot fail. God is within your ancestors. All your ancestors, all your ancestors did was praise God. So when your ancestors are trying to teach you how to praise God in the most potent and purest way ever, that way you receive the information from God, you deny it. You say, that's not God. Not realizing that God is within everything. You cannot say, that's not God, but God created it. You may say, oh, negativity is not God, but God created negativity. It's called duality. You want to know why? God created negativity so you can learn that there is a such thing as positivity. It is your choice what you choose to entertain. Y'all be thinking that, y'all be thinking that God didn't create negativity or evil or God. Do you understand that God created both aspects and told you to choose? You get what I'm saying? So y'all got to understand it's all about intentions. So I'm talking to you about this because some of y'all are denying the same very practices that your ancestors practiced. But then you tend to take on a religion that was never even a part of your ancestral lineage. And then once you realize that the practice that you took on that wasn't even a part of your ancestral lineage actually plagiarized your ancestral lineage. Come on. Now, don't think that I'm not going to say I know everything because I know nothing. I know nothing. But what I can say I know is I know my ancestors. I know my ancestors and I trust my ancestors. My ancestors have blessed me with the platform to teach. And I'd be wrong to not speak of my ancestors every moment that I get. Let me say that one more time. My ancestors have blessed me with a platform and I would be wrong not to speak of the ancestors every time that I get. So when I put on my crystals, when I put on my, my crystals, my Libyan desert glass, that's me tapping into my inner royalty because at one point my ancestors were sitting on thrones. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, this is why I try to tell y'all, y'all be thinking that this stuff don't work. But y'all got to understand, what do you think made your ancestors so powerful? Somebody said so it wasn't. God is within me. I cannot fail my love. All right. So like I said, understand the power of crystals. Y'all got to understand they make you think that crystals are demonic, but then they use those same crystals and put them in technology. And they sell it back to you. So whether or not you like it, you use crystals. Whether or not you don't know, you use crystals. You just probably didn't know you was using crystals. Sorry. 
So, like I said, man, y'all go ahead, check out the crystal shop. And if you have any questions on what crystals to get, maybe you're, this is, maybe, exactly, people using numerology, people using astrology, I'll be trying to tell y'all. So, if this is your first time, and you're like, man, Sticks, I'm trying to get into some crystals. I have a crystal ebook on my website that can teach you everything, or you can always ask me, hey, Sticks, what should I get for this? But let me tell you something. Stop getting crystals just because they're pretty. I need you to have an intention with everything. And if you ever watch Lovecraft Country, you'll understand everything is about intention. You have an intention to, to cast a spell, intention, incantation in a body. Intention is basically what you intend to do. And incantation is a mantra. It's an affirmation. Okay? Exactly. You're going to attract the one that you need. But some of y'all, you just, it's all about a question. Somebody said, I'm watching that show now. Yeah, Lovecraft Country is something serious, believe it or not. Lovecraft Country is something serious. Mm, mm. Got you afraid of your own power. That's crazy. The best way to, to, to get you, listen, the best way to get you to not entertain your own power is to make you afraid of it. That's the best way. I don't want you to become powerful. I'm going to make you afraid of your power. You feel me? So, I'll write it down right now. I'll help you all out. All I ask y'all is to ask the question, hey, Sticks, what crystal helps me with abundance? How can I use this crystal to bring in more abundance? How do I, somebody said, I'm sad they discontinued the show. You know why they discontinued it. Hey, do you have recommendations regarding the Pisces sign? If you are a Pisces, and I'm going to write it down so you can write it down and make sure y'all y'all write this down. If you are Pisces, get angel light. Angel light is going to help you with communication. Also, get blue lace agate. Blue lace agate. Get labradorite. Get labradorite. Angelite, blue lace agate, labradorite. Also, I want to say amethyst. Amethyst, okay? What's, what's a good crystal that helps with downloads? Okay, so if you are looking for a crystal with downloads, I recommend celestite, all right? That's another one for Pisces, okay? Celestite. Hold on now, listen. Let me tell y'all something now. Let me tell you something now. Let me make you very aware before everybody, somebody said, just bought some crystals. I pray you legit, baby. Let me tell you something. If, hey, if you have bought my crystals before, please let these people know. But let me tell you something. These crystals will sell out on you. I'm telling you what I know. I've made it my purpose to have one of the most high quality crystal shops ever known to men. How do I, how do I try to do that? Every time I try to get a crystal, I make sure that it is the highest quality possible. For example, I be telling y'all where the crystals are from. So I'm telling you right now, these crystals are very like sought after. So they will sell out. So when I tell you, when I tell you what it is, when I tell you what it is, I'm telling you, you better get it as soon as possible. All right. I'm telling you, like, listen to the people in the comments. They telling you. All right. But let me give you a call. All right. So if your order is over fifty dollars, especially for my new people, if your order is over fifty dollars, use the code sticks for free shipping. OK. All right. So somebody said for Gemini. All right. Look, if you are Gemini, I recommend Dalmatian Jasper. Dalmatian Jasper. I also recommend Malachite. I recommend moss agate. Moss agate gonna bring you some money. I recommend moss agate. Okay. Somebody said Pisces, please put it back up. Don't worry, I got you. See, look, they already they freaking out, y'all. Why can't I feel y'all freaking out? Thank you. She just commented it for Pisces. She just commented it for Pisces. For Pisces, it's angel light, blue lace agate, labradorite, amethyst. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. And like I said, y'all. Do not forget to get that ebook. If there's anything that you get from that site, do not forget to get that ebook. Yeah, I could feel them scrambling. I could feel them scrambling, literally. Jazz, you, hey, Jazz, let them know. Okay, so this is for Gemini, all right? This is for Gemini, okay? Oh, God. Oh, God, I could feel y'all scrambling, y'all. Relax, y'all, relax, 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 relax. Okay, boom. We're going to start. Listen, how about this? We're going to start from the bottom. We're going to start from Aries and move on down, okay? So we're going to start. Somebody said, what's good for brain fog? Yellow fluorite. Yellow fluorite. Yellow fluorite. If you're dealing with brain fog, get yellow fluorite, all right? 
to channel. It was celestite. Yes, celestite. Let me tell you, celestite. Celestite. You all, why you always do this when I don't have my book? Bruh, how am I supposed to know you don't got your book? Oh, Lord, I'm trying to help y'all out. Do you have something for chakra? Which chakra? Peace and tranquility. Amethyst. All right, hold on, y'all. I got y'all. Relax, relax. First come, first serve. I already see y'all selling this stuff out. Relax, y'all. Relax, relax, relax. Also, make sure y'all, when y'all get these crystals, please make sure that you cleanse it and you set an intention on it, okay? Remember to cleanse it and set the intention. Somebody said, baby, where's the new ebook? Go on the website and search up ebook, okay? Make sure to set your intention on the crystal, okay? So, boom. We gonna start. Somebody said heart chakra. Oh, God. For the heart chakra, okay? Here we go. This is for the heart chakra, okay? Get strawberry quartz. Strawberry quartz. Strawberry quartz, okay? Strawberry quartz. Also, for the heart chakra, get rose quartz. Get pink tourmaline, okay? Get pink tourmaline, all right? That's for the heart chakra. Somebody said for the pineal gland. For the pineal gland, get amethyst. Get chevron amethyst. For your third eye, for your pineal gland, get chevron amethyst. For your root chakra, get carnelian. Get carnelian, all right? How do you cleanse the crystal? Let me make sure I have some Palo Santo on the website, all right? Y'all got to get Palo Santo. Let me make sure I got it on the website. Palo Santo. Palo Santo. Also, get my crystal ebook so you know how to use it, all right? So, boom. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Keep commenting so I can get y'all, man. I don't want to forget y'all. For ADHD, if, you're, if you have ADHD, I recommend to get the crystal yellow fluorite. Yellow fluorite is a great crystal for... for, um, for Yellow fluorite is great for clarity and it's great for ADHD. Um, also, get tiger's eye. All right? For a peace of mind, for a peace of mind, if you're a Capricorn, I recommend amethyst and I recommend flower agate, okay? How do you cleanse your crystals? Oh, God, these, these things moving so fast. Okay, how do you cleanse your crystals with selenite? All you have to do is place your crystal near the selenite. Also, remember, if your order is over $50, if your order is over $50, use the code STICKS for free shipping. <laughs> use the code STICKS for free shipping. For Pisces, get angel light. So let me write it down. All right, for y'all in blue. Get angel light. This is for Pisces. Get celestite. Get amazonite. Y'all see how everything rhymes? Amazonite. Amazonite, okay? Amazonite. Angelite, celestite, amazonite. How do you set intentions with your crystals? So all you have to do is literally hold your crystal while you're cleansing it. You're cleansing it with the Palo Santo, with the smoke. And you're saying, this crystal will be used for this. This crystal will bring me abundance. This crystal will do this, okay? So remember I told y'all, this pyrite, listen y'all, this pyrite is a great crystal for money. This pyrite is a great crystal for money. People actually thought that this crystal was gold at first. So if you're looking for a very, like, remember, the bigger the crystal, the more energy. So if you're looking for a big crystal to add to your collection, one that's going to get a lot of, like, wows, and you want it to bring you some energy and some abundance, use this crystal, especially if you are a business owner. If you are a business owner, if you are a day trader, if you are a salesman, Make sure y'all go ahead and get pyrite. Also, moss agate is another great example. All right? Babe, I need your help. I want to show them some of these crystals, okay? Have the same in a small size. Yeah, so the bigger the crystal, the more energy you receive. So if you are a Capricorn, the best crystals to get as a Capricorn, I'm going to write that down for y'all, all right? If you are a Capricorn, this is for the caps. Oh, I think she in class. Dang. So the best crystals to get if you are a Capricorn is red tiger's eye or regular tiger's eye. Also, fluorite of any kind. Fluorite. Also, flower agate. All right? Flower agate. Flower agate. Okay? Truth, I constantly have to size up. You in class, right? Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. You gonna bring me some crystals? All right, I won't call you no more. My bad. My bad. What's crackle quartz? Crackle quartz is basically clear quartz. Oh, yeah, you can bring a clear quartz, too. Be careful, babe. Yeah. I have my yellow fluorite right there, so I can grab that. 
So we about to show you some of our crystals, all right? I want to show y'all this. So amethyst, like I was telling you about. Yeah? Yeah, so amethyst, like I was telling you. Joe said she trying to get her education. So amethyst. Aquamarine, I'm curious about it. So aquamarine is basically a great crystal for communication. So if you find yourself, and I'm going to tell y'all this, Aquarius, listen, because I'm going to tell y'all the signs. I'm going to tell y'all the signs. Listen. Everybody comment. I'm listening so y'all know y'all listening. I got you, Cancer. Don't worry. I see you, Cancer. If you are an Aquarius, if you are a Pisces, if you are a Virgo, you guys need, a, like I said, a Pisces, Aquarius, Virgo, even Capricorn. If you find it hard for you to communicate what you're thinking, if you find it hard for you to communicate what you're feeling, you need to be getting crystals that are of communication. For example, lapis lazuli. You have to understand everything is energy. Everything is so your chakra is a color. That color is a frequency and that frequency that it is connected to is a communication that is blue. So if you have a hard time communicating your ideas, what you're thinking, you need to have crystals like angelite. Let me write it down. Let me write it down. You need to have crystals like like angelite. Angelite. Celestite. Anything blue. Anything blue. Angelite, celestite. What else? Um, what else? What else? Lapis lazuli. Okay. And aquamarine. Somebody said where to get it. The link is in my bio. Click crystal shop. Make sure to use this code if your order is over fifty dollars. And make sure y'all to get the manifestation ebook. That manifestation ebook will help you change your life. I'm telling you. So somebody said Taurus. So Taurus is basically money crystals. Okay. So for Taurus. Y'all want moss agate, moss agate, okay? You want moss agate. You want malachite. So I'm about to show you what the moss agate look like. You want pyrite. So if you are a Taurus and you get pyrite, let me tell you something. So this is what the moss agate looks like. This is like, I think, I don't know if this is a medium. This is what the moss agate looks like. Let me give y'all a flash so y'all can kind of see what I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on. This is what the moss agate looks like. And it has like druzies as y'all can see it has like it's too much white but it has druzies yes we ship to the netherlands okay so this is moss agate moss agate is literally the stone of wealth this right here is a cover you can always take this off is moonstone a crystal yes moonstone is a crystal for business moonstone is also a crystal for new beginnings what's your star sign libra 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 all right so somebody, somebody said can't see the last one moonstone moonstone somebody said what about virgo so if you are virgo and we're gonna we're gonna look this up now i'm gonna look on my ebook okay so for virgo anything else for the pineal gland chevron amethyst don't worry i got the rest of y'all chevron amethyst i recommend chevron amethyst i recommend labradorite i recommend celestite okay so for virgo lapis lazuli Amazonite, carnelian. Somebody said, you keep skipping campus cancer. I got you next. I'm going to do y'all next. So this is the carnelian that I was telling y'all about. This is carnelian, all right? So crystals for Virgo, lapis lazuli, carnelian, moonstone, citrine, malachite, amazonite, and fluorite. I'm not sure about the thyroid one, man. Maybe you can look on the website and just search it up. That's another thing. If you go on my website and you search it up, You'll be able to um to see also. So here we go. Cancer now. Cancers. Don't worry, I got y'all. Cancers. Okay. All right. So for cancers, for cancers, amethyst, amethyst, citrine. Let me write it down. This is for cancer. Amethyst, citrine, flower agate, pink, tourmaline, and rose quartz. That's for cancers, all right? Girl, I don't know what that sign is. You done put the little, the little logo. I don't know what that sign is. So this is for cancers, rose quartz, pink tourmaline, amethyst, citrine, flower agate. 
Uh, oh, how am I supposed to know what that symbol is? Anything to heal trauma. All of these are good for healing trauma. So if you get the amethyst, this is what you can get. So if you order the amethyst, this is what you get. Also, clear quartz is a great amplifying crystal. This is, man, when I tell you, I got I to put it on, man. Look at this quality, man. This is literally like, look at this quality. Do y'all understand that this came off of a mountain? This came off of a mountain. Hey, yo, Jazz, you still in here? I got to show you a song, bro. Jazz, I got to show you a song. Everybody putting symbols now. Man, I don't know none of them symbols. Y'all going to miss out on y'all sign. Okay, Scorpio. Hey, Scorpios. What's up, Scorpios? What's up, y'all weirdos? But y'all really not weird. Y'all just misunderstood. I feel y'all. For Scorpios. For Scorpios. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready for Scorpios? I got you, Leo. Don't worry, Leo. I got, I got you. For Scorpio, obsidian. Obsidian. Black. Tourmaline, Malachite, Malachite, just joining, have you done Gemini yet? I have, but I'll let you know what um, what's good for it, just give me a second. So, Obsidian, Black Tourmaline, Malachite, Amethyst, Bloodstone, and Carnelian. Carnelian. What came off of a mountain? Baby, my crystals. You ain't heard. Look. My crystals. You ain't heard. You ain't heard. My crystals. My crystals. You ain't heard. My crystals then came off the mountain, baby. How you? You ain't heard about me yet? Do you have any golden healer quartz on your website? I have golden healer on my website. Yes, but they're bracelets. I have golden healer. You're so educated. I love it. Thank you so much. Them crystals are gorgeous. Thank you. The link is in my bio. Click crystal shop. Also, make sure to use the code sticks if your order is over $50 to receive free shipping. To receive free shipping. Do you do custom pieces? No. Did you do Libra yet? No, we about to do Libra now. Happy birthday, Libra. We Libras, man. So we're going to do Libra now, all right? We're going to do Libra now, and then we're going to do... There was a sign I said I was going to do. Already, a, a, Cap a Scorpio knows you before you... Yup. So Libra, Libra, I got y'all right now. Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Moonstone. Labradorite, Amethyst. I want to recommend y'all Sunstone. That's also good for Leo, y'all. That's also good for Leo. Sunstone, for Leo, Carnelian, Carnelian, Sunstone. This for Leo. I will be getting a bracelet then. You know what I'm saying? Sunstone, carnelian, already said amethyst, amethyst, fluorite, yellow fluorite, especially, and tiger's eye. This is Libra right here. This is Libra on the left side. Aquamarine, moonstone, labradorite, amethyst, sunstone. What's for Scorpio Moon? Mm, I recommend Amethyst. Amethyst is really good for y'all. Also, I recommend Obsidian. Also, also y'all, look up Flower Agate. Y'all might be sleeping on the crystal Flower Agate. Flower Agate. Flower Agate. Flower Agate. That's a real slept on one. Trust what I'm telling you. Trust what I'm telling you. Also, um, Sandstone. For, for the Libra, I recommend Sandstone. Blue sandstone. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all blue sandstone. Y'all gonna be like, ooh. This is blue sandstone. 
Somebody said Virgo, babes. So for Virgo, lapis lazuli. Because I already did it, so I have to tell you it. So for Virgo, lapis lazuli, malachite, smoky quartz, obsidian. Yeah, blue sandstone. I'm telling y'all. Blue sandstone, something serious. Blue sandstone. Blue sandstone. Blue sandstone. Capricorns, Aquarius, Aries. Isn't that crystal man-made? Blue sandstone is man-made. Let me tell you about it, actually. Blue sandstone, I think, has carbon in it or something like that. Blue sandstone is the only crystal that I have on my shop that's man-made. But I just love sandstone. I just love it so much. Like, look at it. I love it so much. But I think it's made by putting two crystals together. Yeah, so if you made your order recently, then your order... And if you're making your order today, your order will be shipped out by this week. For sure, for sure, for sure. We do very good shipping, like fast shipping. So if you order today, your order will probably be shipped out like by tomorrow or the day after. Two to three days. For Scorpio, okay, so we're going to start with Taurus because Taurus is asking a lot. So for Taurus, I'm going to recommend Moss Agate. I got you with Aquarius. So for, for Taurus, I'm going to recommend Moss Agate. I'm going to recommend Malachite. Malachite. So look, 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 for Taurus, Moss Agate. Moss Agate, M-O-S-S. -S. I did do Capricorn, dang. What you coming at me for? I did do it, but I'm gonna come back. Damn, I got you. Shit, remember I already did you. I'm doing people that I ain't do already, right? Um, how to test the quality of your crystals. You can actually just look at it and see the quality. Like the pyrite alone, you can tell it's very high quality. Like, the last time we got the pyrite, the pyrite sold out that same day. All right? Hey, Capricorn. For Capricorn. Because y'all feisty. I never even knew y'all to be this feisty. Taurus, real quick. For Taurus, you should get some moss agate. You should get some... See, I didn't do Sagittarius yet. For, for Taurus, you should get some moss agate. You should get some pyrite. And you should get some citrine. Um... You can even get amethyst, and I recommend smoky quartz or Dalmatian jasper to, to calm you down. For Capricorn, for Capricorn, I recommend red tiger's eye or regular tiger's eye, and I recommend flower agate, and I recommend lapis lazuli. We need to pipe up too. I'm trying to hear my best manifestation crystal. So for Aries, for Aries, I recommend that y'all should get sunstone, I recommend that y'all definitely need carnelian. Like carnelian is for y'all. So sunstone, carnelian, amethyst, malachite is really good for transformation. So malachite is a great a great crystal to work with if like you use malachite before you use moldavite. Ooh, y'all ain't know that one. So for all my people that's wondering, if you're afraid to use moldavite, use malachite first. Malachite is a very powerful crystal and it's very good for transformation. I'm telling Capricorn right now. Are you listening? I'm telling y'all Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm telling you. Red tiger's eye. Malachite. Flower agate. Okay. Um, also, I recommend sunstone. I was talking to Aries too. Uh, sunstone. And like I said, for, for, for Capricorn, I told y'all yellow fluorite. For Capricorn, yellow fluorite. That's a new popular one that I've been working with myself. Let me tell you. Let me show you. Let me show you. So this is a personal. This is my personal one. This is my personal one. So yellow fluorite is what I've been using personally to create and to stay focused. All right. Um, make sure you guys are getting these crystals because I cannot promise you that they're going to be there when you come back. Like even by tomorrow, I cannot promise. Even by tonight, I cannot promise you. What crystal can help heal after this ret retrograde? Too much bad luck going on. I would recommend black obsidian, lapis lazuli, African bloodstone, or any crystal for protection. Anything for protection. Is What is the best material to wrap crystals in? Copper. Copper. So for cancers, um, I really recommend flower agate. Flower agate. For, for for cancers. Also, I recommend strawberry quartz and rose quartz. Okay. Um, somebody said, can you do Virgo again? For Virgo, I really recommend lapis lazuli. I recommend malachite, smoky quartz. 
I recommend moss agate, okay? For Taurus, moss agate, malachite, citrine, and pyrite. Um, for Aries, like I told you, sunstone, carnelian, um, fluorite, tiger's eye, all right? For Aquarius, I recommend amethyst. I recommend aquamarine. I recommend chevron amethyst. Where should you place your crystals? It depends on the crystal. Like if you have a money crystal, then that crystal should be on your desk. If you are a Gemini, I recommend um, yellow fluorite, regular fluorite. I recommend um, moonstone. I recommend Dalmatian jasper, carnelian, and amethyst and rose quartz. Um, so a gifted crystal to a significant other slash love interest. I recommend flower agate. Flower agate is pretty. Also, I recommend aquamarine um, or rose quartz. Sagittarius. Malachite is really good for y'all in smoky quartz. Malachite, smoky quartz, moss, agate, and pyrite, and yellow fluorite. Um, came across your live, and your voice and energy is just so welcoming. Thank you so much. What about selenite? Selenite is a great crystal for manifestation and cleansing your energy. Carnelian. Say it again. You say it so nicely. Y'all. Real quick, real quick, we're gonna get back to the crystals, but I have to go clear it. Can it charge it? So, okay, look, look, y'all, listen. Let me play y'all a song real quick, and then I promise y'all we're gonna get back to this. Like, real quick, real quick, real quick. I gotta play y'all a song, okay? Also, I just dropped a song too, and I really think y'all gonna like my music after I play this. So, if I play this, let me say this if I play this and you like the song, you got to go stream my music, okay? And the way that you stream my music, you just look up Sticks River on platforms, and that's it, okay? Like on, on um, Apple Music and stuff, all right? So listen to this, because I think I got, listen. Listen, tell me what y'all think about this, and then we're going to go back to the crystals. This is a message from the universe. So if you hear this, this is for you. Ain't no what you need is some honey's bed. Drop down to my knees, that's where the sun is at. This is clarity that you're on it, babe. Reversing gravity with your energy. I got what you need is some honey's bed. Drop down to your knees, that's where the sun is at. This is clarity that you're on it, babe. Reversing gravity with your energy. Stop acting like you don't really know. Know who you are and who you was before. Life is time for you to grow. That you create and you know what you do. Yeah. I got what you need, I got what you want. This is clarity, I think the soul. Mixing melodies like a potion. Running all the ways like a ocean. Never knew that you would lie to him. It's my favorite part. Somebody said, play it on a speaker. You, you in class. You in, the, you in class. You in class. But let's finish, y'all. I told y'all I was going to finish, y'all. I told y'all I was going to finish y'all crystals, okay? So, like I said, y'all go ahead. Click the link in my bio. Click Stix's music and add my songs to y'all playlist. That song is going to come out very soon. All right? Scorpio. Somebody said, somebody said okay, back, back, to, back to this. Scorpio. So if you are a Scorpio, I recommend you should get... I'm going to type it too so you can know what to type. All right, I'm going to type it. Obsidian. Obsidian. Black tourmaline. Obviously, spell out the word black, but black tourmaline. African bloodstone. Malachite. Smoky quartz. Boom. Got crystals and ebook on the way. That's what I'm talking about. That ebook... Listen, the ebook should be in your email so you can read that like... 
right now. You can start reading that. And I would really recommend if y'all have not gotten that ebook, you're really sleeping on a lot of information. And make sure if you haven't, also you can join the mystery school. You can join the mystery school. Would you please send to me for Aquarius? I've been dealing with a lot, please. I got you, bro. I got you. So aquamarine, flower agate, malachite, um, amethyst. Can't go wrong with amethyst. Labradorite and celestite. Capricorn. So if you are a Capricorn, make sure y'all check the comments because I'm typing it. Red tiger's eye, regular tiger's eye. Or any kind of tiger's eye, fluorite, flower agate, celestite, citrine. For Virgo, lapis lazuli, aquamarine, malachite, smoky quartz, smoky quartz, moss agate, pyrite. Let's get into ancient knowledge. Why did only certain signs get it worse, this retrograde? Um, I guess it depends on what sign the retrograde is in. Somebody said cancer. Okay, I got you, cancer. So flower agate, rose quartz, pink tourmaline, kuznite, lepidolite, amethyst. I feel like there's one I'm missing. Strawberry quartz. Strawberry quartz. Strawberry quartz. Yeah, man. And let me tell you something. If you're so Texas kid, if if you go on my website, so the link is in my bike, click crystal shop, and your order is over $50. If your order is over $50, use the code STICKS for free shipping, okay? For Leo, sunstone, yellow fluorite, citrine, moss agate, pyrite, carnelian. Um, yeah, I definitely felt the retrograde. I think retrograde was actually in, um, Le Libra, if I'm not mistaken. It was in Libra, if I'm not mistaken. Also, guys, make sure y'all get the ebook and join the mystery school, y'all. Um, if y'all really enjoy my teachings... You're going to love the mystery school. So I do want to show y'all what the mystery school look like because I feel like some people really don't know my mystery school. She likes dark purple. I might just give her my amethyst cluster. They're so beautiful. That's dope too. You, you can give her your amethyst cluster or you can get her one of these or you can give her yours and then replace it for this one. Where's the link for the ebook? The ebook is on my crystal shop. So if you go to my TikTok bio and you click the link in my bio and look at crystal shop, you can find it. But let me show y'all my mystery school. If you really, so somebody said ancient Kemet. For example, these are the type of things that I teach on my mystery school. Let me show you. And some of y'all may say, why would I get on your mystery school if you teach online? So the reason why I teach my mystery school is because a lot of things I can't really break down on TikTok because it's just like certain things you can't just really be talking about on the internet like that. So I do want to show y'all like what my mystery school looks like. Let me show y'all. So, so look, this is the mystery school. So like, for example, I'm breaking down the hermetic laws. See? And so you gotta understand as above, so below. The principle of vibration, nothing rests, everything moves. See, boom, talking about that, talking about the serpent. All right. Infinity symbol, infinity symbol, you know what I'm saying? Um, and boom, talking about that, talking about what is hemisync, breaking, breaking down documents. So when we put our left side of the brain asleep, or we put it 
and we or we make it bored or we put it in a sleepy kind of state you get what i'm saying so you get you kind of get the gist all of the teachings are right here become success conscious become success conscious break into creation you imagine what you desire you will what you imagine and i see breaking it down so if you're interested in those kind of teachings those are also on the mystery school See you later, Camille. Com Com yeah, I think that's how you say your name. I haven't read the book of Enoch, but I keep hearing about it. How much is this school? Well, it, let's say, let's say, I forgot to tell y'all. So, well, if you join today, it can be half price. All you have to do is put the discount code LEARN and it'll be like $11. How do you manifest? I literally have a whole ebook teach you how to manifest. If you don't want to pay for the ebook, I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube talking about how to manifest. Like, I'm telling you. But my people will tell you here right then and there that the ebook is the best way to learn. The be the ebook is the best way to learn. The ebook is the best. Thank you, Jazz. Hey, man, that song is good. Jazz, did you hear the song? Did you hear the new song I just made? I want the ebook eventually. I'll try to get it. It's $22. It's $22. I will see that. No, I was giving my dog a bath. Girl, you got to listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. I'm going to go to the speaker. I got to go to the speaker for this one. You're not ready for this, Jazz. I don't think you're ready for this. Jazz, I don't know if you're ready for this. Jazz, I don't know if you're ready for this. This one right here is a hit. You ready, Jazz? <laughs> This is a message from the universe. So if you hear this, this is for you. Ain't no what you need is someone is bad. Drop down to your knees, that's where the sun is at. This is clarity that you want it back. Reverse and gravity with your energy. I got what you need. understand this song is literally like like listen to what i'm telling you i said i got what you need and some honey's bay drop down to your knees that's where the sun is at like get down and pray that's where the sun is at Re reversing gravity with your energy 
This is clarity that you on it, babe. I got what you need is some honeys, babe. Drop down to your knees, that's what the sun is at. This is clarity that you on it, babe. Reversing gravity with your energy. Stop acting like you don't really know who you are. And I said, who you are. Something like that. And then I said, never knew that you would lie to them. I thought that it was me and all your friends. Hoping that you can see your sins. Yeah, who you are, who you were before. Thank you. Hoping that you will see your sins. Hoping that you forgive and repent. The jungle bring it out the rage within. The jungle. The jungle. Like, y'all got to understand, I'm just like, you did me wrong. So I'm hoping you can see your sins. The jungle. I got to play it one more time. Listen, this the one. This the one. This is a message from the universe. This is a message from the so universe. This, this is for you. Hey, no. What you need is some money's bag. Drop it to your knees, that's where the sun is at. This is clarity that you want it, babe. Reverse and gravity, what you want it, Jay. I got what you need is some money's bag. Drop it to your knees, that's where the sun is at. This is clarity that you want it, babe. Reverse and gravity. drop it soon though but when i drop it y'all better go crazy i can't even be playing it too much with y'all I'm, I'm, I'm i can't be playing it too much with y'all y'all gonna get tired of it i gotta stop playing it i gotta stop playing it i gotta stop playing it y'all like my black hair though like i'm in a different era in my life and i can tell this is the era so i'm in a whole different era i was like man let me let me yes that's my music so make sure y'all go ahead and go on Spotify, go on Apple Music, and y'all go ahead and stream my music, all right? Click the link in my bio, click Sticks' music. Make sure y'all go ahead and tap in because I have a feeling this is going to be a great year. Like, and I'm not even talking about 2022. Like, 22 kind of over, but like, with 23 looking like, I have a feeling. I have a feeling. What's this new era bringing, baby? the manifestations somebody said you look cook look cool with white tips white tips like gray like old people make sure y'all subscribe to me on youtube and follow me on instagram y'all um i'm down to talk to a few people if a few people want to hop on the live ask some questions i'm down to chat if anybody want to talk if not i'm gonna head out but if y'all trying to chat let's go i'm down i'm down to talk hold on let me get my other phone I would love to. So all you got a YouTube as well? Yes, I do. 
All you got to do is, listen, everything is in my bio, y'all. Everything is in my bio. So all you have to do is request me on live. What's your YouTube name? Click the link in my bio. You'll find my, um, you'll find my YouTube. I got what you need. Oh, I got here. what you want. This is clarity after the storm. Mixing melodies like a potion. I said, mixing melodies like a potion. Riding on the waves like it's the ocean. Never knew that you would lie to them. I thought it was me and all your friends. I hate to see you lose because I'm going. All right, y'all. I'm about to go then. I love y'all. Remember, link in the bio, click Christian shop. I'll see y'all later.